So, it has come to my attention that there was a Nintendo Direct today. I've decided to uh, do a reaction. I haven't watched anything yet. But, um, what am I expecting out of this? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm going to be expecting Zelda. I mean, it's the 30th anniversary. I got my hat. I got the shirt. For those of you that don't know, I am a huge Zelda fan. While it's not my big three, it is definitely, like, top five. And the first game I got from my Switch Lite that I got a little bit ago is Breath of the Wild. And it is a masterpiece. That's all I'm going to say about it. You're going to sit it right there. It's a masterpiece game. So needless to say, I'm hoping for some more Breath of the Wild 2 info. Maybe a little bit of gameplay. Maybe a title. Like, actually call it Breath of the Wild 2 instead of unnamed title, unnamed sequel to Breath of the Wild, whatever it's called. So, um, this is apparently the last part of E3, and while I'm not usually a huge Nintendo fan, I gotta support Zelda. So, here I am, we're gonna go ahead and do a reaction, grab our candy dandy headphones, yes, I know these are blue, but what are you gonna do, right? So, let's put these on. And let's get into this reaction. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait. Please note, due to COVID-19, release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. For potential further inf updates, please check the official Nintendo website and social media channels as well as those of other publishers. We would like to express our concern and support for all of those affected by the coronavirus during this challenging time. Well, I mean, it is a pretty much about over, at least up here in Pennsylvania, but I appreciate the, I appreciate the support, Nintendo. Thanks. All right, let's do this. For real this time. I'm going to try to not pause as much because this thing is already nearly an hour long. And I'm going to try to do this in one video, so 3, 2, 1, go. A little bit of lag, but we'll be alright. Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide as well. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year, and many people around the world were playing games on it. Nintendo Switch is being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. Sure. Thank you all very much. Okay. We've oh. been able to offer a wide variety um, of games yeah. on the system. There, we will do that. <laughs> but also from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Okay, one thing I gotta say right off the bat, I am expecting something related to Pokemon, because they just did a ton of reveals not that long ago for, like, Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Or was it the other way around? Whatever. Diamond and Pearl getting remade. So, Pokemon will more than likely be here. Mario's going to be here. I mean, he is Nintendo's big head mascot, no matter how badly they may treat him. So, yeah. And, of course, definitely Zelda's going to be here. I mean, 35th anniversary, you gotta. So, let's go. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on the selection of games releasing this year. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Okay. Oh, that's delayed. Okay. I apologize for the ad. Let's continue. Maybe. Thank you. All right, what we got?
Okay. This looks familiar. This is obviously something for Smash, I think. Who's that? Oh! Because you're from Tekken. It's coming to Smash. Okay. Good start, good start. I apologize for the lag. It's my phone. It's not the video. It's my phone. My phone's crap, so... I apologize for the lag. <laughs> that was a good combo. Oh, what? How many people are you going to throw over the <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, they even got his demon form. Oh, that's okay. That's sick. This is a good start. This is a good start. I'm liking this. Ooh, that's quite the super. X Tekken. Oh, not Kirby. No. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit that was funny. Oh, no wonder it's lagging. I don't know why it keeps going full screen. That's weird. I'll go over the details at a later date, so please sit tight. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please take a look. Much I'm guessing are just the moves from the game. Yep, pretty much. Uh, for those of you that want my opinion on Tekken, it's pretty good. I, I enjoy it. Not as much as Mortal Kombat, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy some Tekken every now and then. Jumping kick, leaping side kick, jumping knuckle, air inferno, nice, the 10 hit combo, ooh, that looks like it does some pretty big damage, let's just hope he's not broken. No, it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, <laughs> I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation, we still have to record it first actually, the air date is shown below, please stay tuned. 628. I'll definitely be tuning in and watching it. Thank you. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys want me to actually, like, do a live reaction to it or anything like that. And that makes, that one makes a lot of sense. I mean, I wish it was Goku or Shadow the Hedgehog, but, you know what, I'll, I'll take this one. I'll take Kazuya. I think it's still pretty cool. Oh, now we get to the headlines. What we got? Your choices matter in these emotional supernatural tales. Emotional supernatural tales. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the animation's pretty good. The expressive. Is this some, um, I think it's called Life is Strange, I think? Is this what this is? Ah, yes, it is. The remaster collection and the new game, apparently. True Colors. It's a Nintendo Switch. Nice. Um, I haven't played these games yet. 
Um, I'm definitely thinking about it, though. I'm always interested in these story-driven kind of games, so... You know what? I'm willing to give this one a chance. Could end up being pretty good. True colors. Could be interesting. <laughs> oh. Uh, Bethesda, you already had yours. Let's just restore field. Next. Life is Strange True Colors launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. If you guys hear the fan, it's because it's hot There's in this room and I can't really open Nintendo my windows. So. Well, I just can't do anything about that. It's you as low as I can get. Dumpster fire. Just looks just as bad as Avengers, if not worse. For those of you that don't know, Avengers is one of my worst games of 2020. I think they would have learned their lesson after that disaster, but now we're getting another one of these crappy Square Enix Marvel games. Boo. Worms everywhere. Okay. This could be fun. Thirty-two, dang. And cross-platform. This could be a fun game to play with friends. I want to. Ah, exclusive to Nintendo Switch. That reminds me of the uh, the color for that one car they did for the exclusive Switch version of uh, Asphalt Nine that I have on my on my Switch because a it's free and b it's fun. So. And see, it's the only free racing, a uh, free racing game on the system right now. So, yeah, Th that's exactly what this reminds me of. This reminds me of that BMW because it has that same kind of color scheme. That's in asphalt. So looks like they're doing that same kind of thing. I'm cool with that. That's pretty cool. Two weeks after launch, sure. A new map of the Spaceport Showdown launches with Worms Rumble. Wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order... June 23rd. This is Sonic's birthday. Okay, I don't know why they're releasing a Worms game on Sonic's birthday, but whatever. Oh, by the way, I'm probably more than likely to be doing a live watch wrong or reaction, whatever, to the uh, 30th anniversary symphony, because can't skip out on Crush 40. The game's starting today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. Fantastical realm of more canon awaits. Astria ascending. As you explore this fully hand painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks and captivating turn based combat. Hmm. Astria ascending launches. Looks like a bit of a brave frontier ripoff. But, okay, it could be fun. Hey, Sega! That's why the, that's why I said Sega was going to be here because they're going to show some stuff here. Uh, can we possibly get some something Sonic related? Maybe some more info on Ultimate. That'd be pretty cool. More than likely not, but it'd be pretty cool. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. Nice, nice. I might have to check that one out and Two Point Hospital since this game that's Sonic update. Rolls. Is this, uh, Super Monkey Ball? Is that what this is? Is this Super Monkey Ball? Ah, it is. Sorry for the ad. Get out of here. Okay, we got the first one. We got two. The Deluxe Love Let's Go. I love Deluxe. That's the game that came with my Mega Collection Plus, by the way. For my Xbox. I love that thing so much. Banana Mania. Is this uh, another... Oh, it's another remake. Okay, you have caught my attention. This looks really fun. Aw, oh, soccer. That was my... That was so, so fun. Go bananas, win Super Monkey Ball I'm definitely Banana gonna have Mania. to get that Let's one. Congrats, Switch, Sega. October Another 8. game for Switch. That is a must-pick-up. It's a blast from parties past, and you're invited. 
Party's Pass. I wonder what Ready that can mean. Oh, Mario Party. Party. Of course. Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and minigames. Superstars. Okay. Five classic boards from the this Nintendo 64 guy. Oh, hold on. I gotta get Mario. I almost forgot. I almost forgot to get my Mario. You, and when we say zany, you sit we right there. Jump. Connect blocks. And give face lifts? In hilarious over-the-top minigames. <laughs> All of which support button control. Oh, good, good. I can get this in the lights. Thank you. Catalog, you'll have a blast in this all star fun fest. Here's a little party favor all game modes work with online play. Oh, nice. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Oh, kind of like, uh, um, what was it called? Cod Mobile, I think, where you can randomly get matched online. That's pretty cool. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to party in Mario Party. Party. <laughs> Launching on the Nintendo Switch system. Sorry, I didn't mean to get country. My bad. <laughs> begin today on Nintendo eShop. That actually looks pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. What did you think? The last Mario Party wasn't oh, great, but this one looks much better. I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series. Metroid Prime 4. Oh, I forgot about Metroid. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Another new one. Please take a look. Okay. You have my attention, Nintendo. You have my attention. What you got? Ooh. I'm digging the new suit. Metroid 5. Okay. I'm digging that new suit, though. That new suit looks really cool. I think I actually kind of prefer it over her old design. It's, it's, it's the colors. I just like the colors. What the heck is that? Oh, missile. And that did nothing. Oh, jeez, that spider walk. Oh, Resident Evil vibes. Oh, we're going 2D. Okay. We're going 2D again. This could be cool. Metroid. Dread. Ooh. That actually looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's not done. Oh, this looks so cool. Dude. This is sick. Okay, Mario, you can go over here. I'll bring you back out when they announce the next game of yours. You can go over there. Actually, looks really sick. <sighs> Metroid Dread. Nintendo Treehouse. That's just a live after show, I think. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. October eighth of this year. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see what you're doing there. The brand new Metroid Dread game. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that same day, we'll also uh, of be course they're, of course we're doing Amiibo. Of Samus and the Emmy, the robots Emmy. I wonder what that stands for. Let's move on to more that could be interesting. Oh, more headlines. What we got? These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. Familiar franchises? Okay, what are we thinking? Get ready to get <laughs> in the latest Just Dance game. Of course, Ubisoft continuing to suck. We're just gonna hit the fast forward button. Sorry guys, I don't care about that at all. Let's move on to the next one. Next. 
Whoa. Okay. This looks cool. <laughs> Flying vehicle. Ah, uh, yeah, some arcade action. I'm all for this. Yeah, I'm liking that. Dragon Ball! No way! That's freaking Kakarot. Oh! Not even halfway through. Nintendo, you have already won E3, my friend. I should have knew Kakarot was coming to Switch. I should have known. But I completely forgot. Ah, <laughs> uh, but seeing this, my beloved DBZ getting a full section here. Uh, <laughs> mm, right here in the fields. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, I love Dragon Ball Z so much. I am so, so getting this. PS4 and Switch must buy. I already have. Actually, hold up. Pause real quick. Oh, you're downstairs. Never mind. I do have Xenoverse 2, and I do have Fighters. I just need Kakarot. And I have Jump Force as well, but that's like a whole shonen mashup game, so I don't really count that. But f not one, but four DBZ titles on Switch right now. That that makes me happy. Now, we just need Goku and Vegeta and Smash, and I will be happy. Well, I will be happier. I will be set for life. Ah, <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy, man. The Dragon Ball Z representation. <clears throat> Love that. Best part so far. I know not everyone loves Kakarot, but this game is awesome, man. And to see it getting its own full section here at the Direct makes me so happy. Oh, they're including the they're including the DLC. Nice. Nice. I remember seeing trailers about this while I was waiting to watch the uh, Capcom conference for E3. So this is probably just going to give us more of the same that I've already seen. But this actually looks pretty fun. It's very arcadey and wacky. This is the kind of stuff that I like. And it's better than most modern sports games, let's be honest here. Speed golf. Oh, that's actually cool. That looks very competitive and very fun. Oh, special dash. Ice Luigi. Oh, it's uh, Paulina. Whoa. And an obstacle. They're going all out, aren't they? And the me. Wow. Oh, that's the uh, Odyssey city, I think. The city from Odyssey. The Odyssey rep. Nice. I might give that one a try, actually. That one looks fun. And another ad. Yeah, here's what I think of your ad. There we go. Okay, what else we got? Ready for the ride of a lifetime? Oh, this is Monster Hunter. This is from Capcom's presentation. Yeah, Monster Hunter, Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Sweet. Uh, I've been looking for an excuse to jump into Monster Hunter, so this might be a perfect time to do it. Uh, I've heard that Monster Hunter Rise is amazing, so I, I'm i definitely going to think this is a good time to jump in. Oh, 
players may suddenly ambush you. To fight, you'll team up with your monster and use weapons. Oh, oh, monster! That is such a stupid word. And you'll be rewarded with their materials, which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monster. Incredibly powerful monsters can also have Stop using eggs. that stupid word, Nintendo. Monster, not monsty. That just sounds dumb. Buckle up, Ryder. Oh, co-op, okay. Nice. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, soars onto Nintendo Switch July 9th. You can play the free demo. Ah, free demo. Yes, I can play it. What's next? Here's a new game from the head of a certain company. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh, it's Wario. Hey, what do you mean? Who am I? <laughs> it's me, Wario. <laughs> we are finally ready. A brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control. Oh, a new WarioWare. Okay. This is sweet. This is cool. Oh, hit by doo doo. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. Throw that stick thing. Not the bad. Use the stick. Not the bad. Nailed it. Same micro game, different abilities. Oh, okay. Hey! The co-op play. So. <laughs> this is cracking me up. Oh, new warrior wear. That is gonna make a lot of people happy. Ah, oh, that is cool. That is so cool. This is cool, There's also man. A two-player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. Next, please take a look at this. Look at what? What is this? Hmm. Okay. Anime game. Okay. Well, anime style game, I should say. This doesn't look like any anime that I know. After you get pulled into a different dimension. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Angels and demons. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. Mm. What okay. lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> oh, Shimagami Tensin. Okay. I was wondering why the third one got a remastered port, but now that this one's here, it makes total sense. Um, well, I don't really know what to think of this one. I mean, I've never played Shin Megami Tensei personally, so I really do not know how to feel about this. I'm sure it looks cool, looks fine, but I'm not sure if this is really going to be worth playing for me. Just for me. I'm sure a lot of people are happy right now with this, but mm, this is okay. Sorry, I don't really know much about it, so yeah, I know nothing. I know nothing about this. In some cases, by rejecting a demon's request, they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. 
Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. The demon system. This reminds me a lot of the uh, the fairy mechanic from Castlevania: Curse of Darkness. This is what this is reminding me of. The uh, dark fairy system, whatever the heck it was called. I haven't played the game in so long. <laughs> okay, that's a goofy looking monster. Or a demon, whatever. The many demons roaming this post apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. What destiny will you choose? Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Pre orders for the physical version begin June 21st. Why is so many of these pre-orders and launches and stuff happening around happening around Sonic's birthday? I mean, I'm just saying that just seems very odd to me because it's going to be Sonic's birthday. People are going to know that Sonic is probably going to be the talk of this talk of that day, heck of that entire week probably. So why release so many of these games or pre-orders of this game for that day? It just seems a bit odd. I mean, the pre-orders I get, but, like, actual game releases around that time? Hmm. Had me a bit iffy. And also, in s about uh, September? Yeah, uh, more than likely, Sonic Colors Ultimate is going to be dominating in sales, so... Just a heads up to those people in those and trying to release games in that month. Uh, it may not work out well for you. That's all I'm saying, because the Colors Ultimate has a lot of hype behind it, myself included, so... Releasing a game around that time, you better bring your A-game, or you're gonna be more than likely left in the dust. Just saying. Heh, <laughs> saying. Ha <laughs> uh, the puns. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, I'll, I'll, sh I'll shut up, I'll stop rambling. Let's continue. And that was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei V. Okay, cool. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa. Ooh, Danganronpa, Rampa. okay. That's one freaky freaking bear. Danganronpa Decadence. Three games in the deadly Danganronpa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. They're doing, they're re-releasing the trilogy again. Good, that's a good time for me to jump in. I've always wanted to try Danganronpa. It looked like a lot of fun, and I've heard from a lot of people that it is a great title. So, that should be a fun game. And so it begins. <laughs> among us before among us. Don't care about your ads. Shut it. That's the direct, please. Thank you. How many more of these ads? Okay, only one or two more till the end. Has been expanded into a standalone game. Donkin Rumpa S Ultimate Summer Game. An all-star cast of characters from the Donkin Rumpa series will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this ultimate beach brawl? That that's a cool one. That is a very cool one. I'm actually pretty excited for that one. All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Ah, nice. Ah, yes, horror games. Thank you. What's this? Fatal Frame. Ah, this is uh, this is one of those Wii U titles, isn't it? I think this is another Wii U title that's being brought over to Switch. Ghosts 
your ears at the exploding bracket of seven locations. The spine chilling story features various protagonists who lend your experience of the game from different perspectives. Your costumes and photo books are included in the Okay, okay. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm I'm always on the lookout for great horror games, so I'm definitely gonna give that one a try. Ooh, games and DLC. Okay, what we got? Oh yeah, Doom Eternal. That's where it's at, bro. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom Eternal: The Ancient Gods Part One. That's where it's at, man. I love me some of Doom Eternal. I wonder if Angry Joe will do a reaction to this direct. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, later today, nice. Oh, Tony Hawk. Ramped up for two iconic skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Give me a sec. I want to look and see if I can recognize any of the songs listed here quick. Uh, <laughs> Chick Norris, that's funny. Yeah, I don't know any of those. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes. And compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop in to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June Sorry about that. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo Okay. Switch. I already have plans to get the PS4, so After that's all good. Years, Sateki, the Witch Queen has risen Strange Brigade. I've never heard of this, stopper. actually. The Strange Brigade. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles. Oh, mummify. Okay. Go it alone or team up with A mummy game. That's pretty Local interesting. Co-op and online play. Expect the unexpected when Strange Brigade launches a Nintendo Switch later today. That looks pretty fun. What else we got? It's a new yep. Come back, Mario. Time for you to talk about the only good thing Mario from Ubisoft's horrible presentation. I still have yet to try Kingdom Battle, but I've heard it's a lot of fun, so I'm willing to give this sequel a chance. This could be really fun. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she born already? <laughs> Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. Nope, oh, ad. It's gonna be an ad. Yeah, it's doing an ad. What up? Sorry guys, technical difficulty from garbage ad number 5052. Yeah. Thank you. Next. And in this fresh take on the tactical genre, our heroes can run freely around the battlefield, creating new strategic and freely around the battlefield. So aim for victory. I don't know exactly what that means. Wait, who's that? Yeah, who is that? Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope launches into space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. Good job, Mario. Oh, game footage not final. What we got? Oh, what is this? Wait a second. Is that Advance Wars? No! No way! Win. Win. <laughs> oh, I love Advanced Wars. I I do not play that many strategy games, but I love Advanced Wars. It is such a fun game, and it's getting the remaster treatment. Ah. Uh, oh. Nintendo, you're hitting me in the feels today. First it was Dragon Ball, and now you're doing Advanced Wars. 
well, it was Dragon Ball, then it was Super Monkey Ball, and then, now it's Advanced Wars, getting a remaster. Oh, Nintendo, you are making me so happy right now. You're making me feel like a two, -year like a freaking five-year-old kid again. <laughs> oh, I love Advanced Wars. I'm so glad this is coming back. This one must buy for me. Instant win. Instant freaking win. Oh, it's both. <laughs> a reboot camp. Okay, that's a funny title. December third, must buy for me. I am. I cannot believe they brought that back. Oh, it's Zelda. It's gonna be Zelda, isn't it? Oh, that one was delayed. What do we got? Oh, this is Hyrule, yep, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Expansion Pass. Um, I don't play this game. I don't have it yet. I mean, I have plans to. I mean, I already have Breath of the Wild, and that this game's connected to it. So I'm probably going to get it at some point. But for right now, until then, I, I don't care. It looks fun, but I really just don't care. There's already better games coming out. It, like I said, it looks fun, but it's just, it's just not my thing. A motorcycle, really? Okay. Pulse of the Ancients, available June 18th in the Nintendo eShop. Wave 2 Guardian of Remembrance, available in November 2021. 20 bucks USD. Okay. Hello there, I'm Hello there, I'm Sorry, I'm terrible at announcing things. I'm also surprised they're still supporting this game. I heard it didn't do very well. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. Okay. I have a few more things to share with you all today. Okay. What's next? We'll begin with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Okay, let me say this up front right now. This remaster looks more and more crappy every time I see it. Like, for one, you have to pay for the fast travel, which is greedy and stupid. The Amiibo, you're going to know those are going to sell out in instant. The graphics are pretty much at the exact same at the exact same level. There was little to no advancement whatsoever. And they are charging a full 60 freaking dollars. I mean, come on. Come on, Nintendo. Stop being greedy. Put quality over profit. That's the lesson here today. Do not treat Zelda the same way you treated him on his 35th. Okay, because that was pathetic. Do not do that to Zelda or I will riot. Okay? I'm just saying that right now. You better have something other than Skyward Sword HD, or I'm gonna lose it because I do not. I the uh, this game just looks like crap. I'm sorry. I've heard it was the least uh poorly uh, poorly received uh most poorly received that English most poorly received 3D Zelda game, and yet you're giving it the remaster anyway. Why not give a remaster to the original? games like Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 and Link's Awakening. I think that was the other one that people have said was a really good one. You already gave the remaster to... Oh wait, no, you already did a remaster to Link's Awakening. My bad. I forgot about that. I still have yet to play it. It looks fun. Um, okay. Then give the Twilight Princess or, you know, the Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask. Wind Waker, you have many, many, many other titles you could pick other than Skyward Sword that are way better and that will sell much better. I know Zelda fans are going to eat this up, but I'm sorry, man. This remaster looks like garbage, especially compared to what we just saw, Advanced Wars, Reboot Camp, 
and Sonic Colors Ultimate. But between those three, this one is the weakest. This is the one thing from this show that I do not like. Because you, you're destroying Zelda, and I'm not liking this one bit. All I can say is you better end it with Breath of the Wild 2, or I'm going to be severely disappointed. That, that's all I'm going to say. Next. We're going to skip. This looks like crap. I'm sorry, this remaster looks terrible. Oh. A game and watch. Really? This year, the original Legend of Zelda game. Why? The Mario one didn't sell all that well. Why do it again for Zelda? I get that you're trying to be retro and you're trying to pay homage to your past Nintendo. I get it. But this is stupid. Okay? The Game & Watch is not that good of a console. I mean, it's better than the Game Gear Micro because you can at least actually hit the buttons instead of a tiny little... this tiny little thing that's more use of a necklace or a pendant but still i mean makes no sense nintendo i'm sorry you're you're making no sense right now if you want to re-release those games re-release them on the switch or better yet on zelda's actual 35th anniversary release those re-release the games on switch in their entirety in widescreen widescreen that widescreen for free for that one day only you will have more downloads than you can even try to process that's all I'm going to say. This is... You do not need the Game & Watch, okay? And knowing you, you're going to overprice the F out of it. So, yeah, no, I'm not buying this either. Now, Breath of the Wild 2 better be next, or I'm going to be very, very upset. Reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect it. Or other Nintendo, no other Nintendo Switch games in develop. You just don't care about your fans, do you? You just don't care about your fans, you don't. You say you do, but you don't. That's all I'm going to say. It's very clear that you couldn't give a crap. This is dumb, man. This is so dumb. First game in the series, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Okay, whatever. And the Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening game. Not a link to the past, really. The Game & Watch titled Verbiage, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system. Yeah, this is just a novelty item. You want it? Buy it. I'm not. This looks stupid. I could I could play these games better on my emulated Xbox. Seriously. This is a disappointment. Oh, and that play clock thing. I could get screenshots off of Google, crop out all the extra stuff, and just use that as a wallpaper. Yes, it may look cool in motion, but come on, man. This is... Ugh. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, but as a Zelda fan, I can't help but be frustrated by this crap. You're treating him just as bad as you treated Mario. Why is everyone but Sonic getting a terrible anniversary nowadays? Like, honest to, honest to God, why? <sighs> Nintendo, this is not going to sell well. The, even the Mario one didn't Hope sell one. How will this sell well? Whenever and wherever you like. There's another re way to do that, Nintendo. It's called emulation. You ever heard of it? <sighs> Look, guys, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should not be this 
frustrated over something that's stupid, but this is stupid. And the fact that this is supposed to be Zelda's big 35th anniversary release, along with the garbage, garbage port of Skyward Sword, this is pathetic. Come on, Nintendo. You started this direct so good, and now you're ending it with a wet fart, aren't you? We're not going to get anything out of breath. We're not going to get... We're getting no Breath of the Wild 2, are we? I know it's coming, but you're probably not going to show us a single dang thing. Are you? You know, I thought I thought wearing this shirt and this hat would be good luck. But here's how I was wrong. Nintendo, you frustrate the flipping crap out of me sometimes. You really do. Let's 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 just finish this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Let's just finish this. All right. Here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Thank you. Thank you. To share anything from the back up. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more. New, new footage. Please Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I anyway, lost my faith there for a minute. Okay. This is all old footage, I think. Okay, here we go. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above my world. I'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. How was that? That's all for this Nintendo Direct. Wow. Wow. I... <sighs> My faith has been restored. That's all I can say.